Moving on from the last lesson in which you learned how you can use a different layout for a phone versus a tablet, the challenge is like in, in your activity, you want, to, um, you want to differentiate between a phone and a tablet, right? So for a phone, you want to trigger a new detail activity, whereas for a tablet, you just want to replace a fragment, right? So how we achieve this? is like if you see if, if you remember basically uh, when a user clicks on an employee then this method of the main activity class gets called which is called employee detail so let me do a quick recap so that you remember what we did so far so if you see the employee list fragment right so when when there is a click then we were basically calling the interface method call employee detail Okay, and this interface method in turn called the main activity call employee detail, which we over which we override, right? So the thing is, if you if you have observed, then in the layout file for the detailed view, um, or rather for the list view, uh, for a tablet we have a frame layout in it. So what I am referring to is. If you see this file, if you see this layout file, we have this frame layout in which we want to display the details on a tablet. Now this is missing on a phone, right? On a phone, we just have this fragment, right? So the idea is that if we can check that if this attribute exists, then we perform the operation for the tablet. And if it does not exist, then we perform the operation for a phone. That's it. So th this is exactly what I've done here. So in the main activity in this method, I tried to extract this frame layout, which is detail fragment ID. And you need to check if it's null or not. So if it's not null, you go ahead and replace it. You go ahead and replace the frame layout with the new object. And if it's null, that means you you are using a phone so then you need to just call the detail activity you need to create a new intent and call the detail activity so this is what it is go ahead and try it out um, and uh, i'll check in the code so that you can view it on github okay thanks bye